We now have a coalition of which you are a part, which involves the United States, Britain, France, Israel, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar, and Turkey, as was pointed out. Now, I wouldn't like to be in that company, John. I'm not sure how comfortable you feel in it. I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. I would work on the assumption that any war supported by that gang cannot possibly be a war worthy of my support. I have made my views clear on this Syrian issue from day one. And here is where I stand. The Syrian people have the same right to rise up and overthrow their government as any people on the earth do. But they don't have the right to ask me to send my air force to bomb their country and kill their people in support of their revolution. Number two, if their revolution so terrifies every religious and ethnic minority in the country, it's probably not a revolution worthy of support. Number three, if it's a revolution that can attract the support of America, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Britain, and France, it's probably not a revolution that's in the interests of the Syrian people. I'm with the Syrian people, but I'm against foreign invaders of Syria. I'm against Israel invading Syria. I'm against America and France and Britain invading Syria. I'm against these so-called jihadists who think by chanting Allahu Akbar while acting as an ally of Israel and America, they're somehow involved in a holy war.